So roads are a big part of Earth MC. Transportation across the server makes stuff a lot easier, and when there's roads, it just makes it so much quicker. I don't really enjoy walking through um, forests all day just to get to where I want. Things like ice roads are, are extremely helpful for transporting stuff across continents and countries. So I thought I'd talk about them a little bit today. Starting with the simplest of simple designs, which is the two slab um, chunk road. I'll put a picture on screen of what I'm talking about right now. It's used mostly for towns that just sell chunks to people so that they can build stuff. More of the messier towns that are built to get gold instead of to look nice. This is probably by far the most efficient road design out of any. And it makes it really easy to just sell off chunks to whoever needs them at that moment. Now it doesn't really look the nicest and it's not all that realistic. But as I said, that's not really what people are going for if they use this road design. Uh, I used this for my first town on EarthMC back in 2018, back on Huron City, back in Michigan. So it definitely has good memories, but obviously it's, it's not the best design, I would say. But if all you're going for is efficiency and doing stuff easily, I would say that this is the top thing to use. Um, next is the popular full chunk road. So the design I use for my town is probably the simplest um, one chunk road. You've got like eight chunks this way and then two for the sidewalk. Um, it's just completely stone and stone slabs. It's a super easy thing to do and a lot of towns will use this. There's a couple different designs um, and different ways of doing this. Some people have wider roads that span all the way across the chunk instead of for me where I have two blocks on either side that are grass just so that I can build the road, um, the houses up to the chunk and it's not like going up straight to the road. If we go over to Michigan, this is another design. Um, it's got the eight blocks across, the normal eight blocks across design, but then it's got a little like median in between the road and the sidewalk, and then it's got these little things in between. So this road design was actually made by me. This was my idea. Um, I don't actually live in Michigan anymore, which might require a whole different video to talk about, but I would say this is a cleaner way of doing it, but it's also, um, it makes it very difficult to make like large inclines like this. It doesn't really look look all that good when it's going up by that much. And I have a lot of that in my town, so it wasn't really I wasn't really able to make the road design like this. Um, that design also looks pretty weird when you're like out in the middle of nowhere trying to trying to build like a a road with sidewalks on either side. It just looks a little bit weird. So that one definitely has its benefits, and and it has a few things about it that aren't really perfect. Back in Dyerville, I should have a screenshot of it up on screen right now. Um, they had nether brick roads. Now, this is iconic for me as a part of Dyerville back on Terra Nova, but obviously these roads look awful. I think everyone can kind of agree on that. They, they just weren't really that good, but we used them, and they were too iconic to get rid of, so we kind of kept them for however long it was a town, probably like a few years. Now, they started with the... Um, slab design but then they moved over to that like just because it was a lot more widespread at that time um next i wanted to talk about interstates so this is a thing pretty much specific to me i am the only one who is big on this um i should have somewhat of an interstate design over here that i'll come show you but interstates basically they have a median in the middle so like this right here um is a divided highway where it has the thing in between so it's the same road as this it's like the same it's just as wide it's the eight blocks across but it has two slabs in between. It just makes it look a little bit more like official. What you could do is you could put some like yellow um, middle lines over here because that would definitely uh, make it look even more official. I don't personally do that because again, it's very difficult when you're doing um, hard inclines and stuff like that. But I, I definitely wouldn't judge anyone who does it because I think it just makes it look even cooler. Um, finally, I wanted to talk about uh, ice highways. So ice roads are probably the biggest form of transportation on EarthMC. Because obviously, if you put a boat on ice, you can go really fast. That's like the easiest way to get from one continent to another, like really fast. Because it just takes no time at all when you're on a boat in, on ice. It just goes so fast. So people make above ground ice highways. They make below ground ice highways. And they are definitely, I mean, I would definitely say that's the most efficient way of traveling because it just, I mean, it's so quick. Um, for normal, like, uh, town roads, it doesn't really work just because nobody needs a boat and ice to go all, like, a few chunks to the west. It's not really needed in town, so it's not really used. But from getting to one town, um, from one town to another, ice highways are definitely the most efficient way to do that. 
Um, I've always wanted to, so if you have one of this, so it would take up a whole chunk. But if we move this two blocks that way, and we move this two blocks that way, we move this two blocks that way, and then we do the same in this way, we have two blocks in between that are now available. So then if we put ice in between, so there's a median, and then there's ice, and then there's another median, you can now have a road that is both um, divided and looks cool, but then also has ice in the middle. This involves a lot of soul sand that makes it go like up and down, but it's definitely like a pretty easy way to do it. I would say that is the ideal road design. It definitely takes a while to build, and it's not the most efficient thing, but I do think it's pretty cool. So that's basically all I've got for you today. Um, obviously, I'm in Wyoming now. Just a quick update on what I'm doing on EarthMC. Um, we're designing a nice little town here. Uh, things didn't really work out in Michigan, to say the least. Don't really need to go that deep into it because it's not that big of a thing, but... Anyways, thank you all very much for watching. Yes, guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Toothbrush.